uh, we have the EPA slapping new rules, not on just coal, but as we uh, uh, broke up for you on this very show, extending that to other fossil-friendly fuels such as oil, natural gas. All right, we got Texas oil tycoon and so much else. Lou Dickens on that. Uh, he joins us out of Las Vegas at the Salt Conference. Boone, I guess we shouldn't be surprised. I think it was guys like you who said when they start going after one industry, it's, it's not a surprise when they start going after others. Are you worried? I don't know what the question is. I, I, am I worried? Are you worried you about know, watching and going after traditional energy? I don't see them going after it. I, we've gone after ourselves. We overproduced. Supply is, uh, is there. Demand is there. And what do we have? Everybody's going broke. So it's, uh, you know, we, it's a cheap price. What is it? What are they going after me for now? Well, they're not going after you. Maybe they are. I'm, I'm just talking about in the context of what they've done with coal, the EPA, and they want to extend cleaner standards to natural gas, oil, fracking, that sort of thing. That's all I'm asking. Any thoughts on that? No, the EPA has, has cleared fracking. Uh, that's that's uh, that's not a problem. The uh, you know you you got Hillary on there on March 16th. I saw it yesterday, but they did a deal where she said we're going to get rid of the the coal mines and we're going to shut down fossil fuels. Now let me tell you that's that's about the goofiest remark I've ever had. There's 95 million barrels of oil produced every day. 70 percent of that goes to transportation fuel. Okay, Hillary, shut it down. Tell me what you're going to use in place of uh, oil. You can't move an 18-wheeler. You can't move a locomotive on only two uh, fuels, natural gas and diesel. So what are you going to do? What's, what's the alternative when you shut down fossil fuels? Let me ask you about all this stuff. If you you know, dismiss what the EPA is doing. I mean, many of your colleagues in the energy business are scared to death of the EPA and that it's targeting all of these other energy uh, energy options in favor of things like wind and solar. You're not. Well, Neil, uh, the, you know, wind and solar are renewables and wind doesn't blow all the time and, and the sun doesn't shine all the time. Uh, anything you have on a renewable has to be backed by something that uh, is always there. So, you know, natural gas backs up wind and solar. And how much wind and solar are you selling? Less than 10 percent of the total supply for power generation. So will it ever be a big factor? Maybe, but it'll all come down to cost. Right now it costs more to do wind and solar than it does natural gas for power generation. Um, you're probably aware, Boone, of these meetings going on in Washington between uh, Republican uh, leaders on the Hill and, and, and Donald Trump. You've already indicated your support for Mr. Trump. Not so all those leaders. Do you think they should just get on board and, and, and shut up or what? Oh, I can tell you, I, I'll bet you I can give you 90% of what the conversation between Paul Ryan and Donald Trump will be. Uh, good morning, how are you? How are we going to beat Hillary? That'll be the first question. We are going to, and somebody will have an agenda, which will go through in about an hour. They'll agree on 90% of it, and we're off in the right direction, and we will beat Hillary. Trump will win in a landslide over Hillary. Wow. What makes you say that? Well, look at her record, Neil. My God, she's lucky she's not in jail. All right, so I'm putting you down as a, a landslide win for Donald Trump. Would you ever entertain a role in his administration? Sure, I'd, I would like to be president. <laughs> okay. You guys can work out a co-deal or whatever. Uh, Boone, it's always a pleasure. Thank you very, very much. You bet, Neil. All right, Boone Pickens.